room filled with people of different beliefs came together to worship, love, and pray. On Monday, November 20th, the United Church of Christ Congregational in Burlington held the annual Community Interfaith Thanksgiving service. This Interfaith Thanksgiving service has been going on for many years, actually. And I've only been in Burlington for five years, but it started long before I came here. And every year, a different house of worship hosts the service. And this year, my congregation, the United Church of Christ Congregational, had the blessing of hosting the service. A variety of different religions from Burlington were represented at this year's special event. We had Protestant, uh, Catholic, Jewish, Muslim. We were supposed to have a Hindu representative, but he became ill at the last minute. And so we had a variety of faith traditions represented. Each faith spread the message of uniting as a community. All of our faith traditions talked about the importance of gratitude, of celebrating all the abundant blessings in our lives, of recognizing um, that we're all God's beloved children and it's our responsibility to take care of one another and to love one another, and that our foundations, even though we have different faith traditions, the foundation that we take care of one another and take care of the earth, we all share those values. And so that was really celebrated in tonight's service. I got a chance to speak with representatives from the religions that were at the service and how they got a chance to participate in the event. Well, ever since I've been here, which is 34 years, uh, we've had our interfaith Thanksgiving service. It actually predates me. It's, we've been doing it for maybe almost 40 years, and it was a wonderful opportunity for the interfaith clergy to celebrate this spiritual day and to give thanks and to be together and to celebrate our diversity and to unite together as Americans. So it was really a, the interfaith community reached out to us and uh, the Islamic Center, and they've been trying for years on end actually, and there was no Imam for some time, and so I recently moved into the area, and I started about a year ago, and ever since then I've been part of the interfaith community and working with them in various activities. It's always been a very special time to be together with my colleagues from the various faith traditions here in town as we join together and giving thanks to God for the blessings we've received and renew and refresh ourselves in the relationships that we have with each other. Through, through meeting people, um, through meeting one clergy person who then invited me to come and meet with the clergy group and from there it's, it's just snowballed and now we've become great, great friends and companions. Finally, it doesn't matter what you believe in because we all have something in common. I hope what people will take away from this evening is just a sense of, of blessing and spirituality and thanks and to give thanks for everything that we have, for everything that we have in our country, all of the positives that we have in our country right now, and also to, uh, to understand that we need to reach out to each other in this difficult time in our nation's life and, and to embrace each other. I'm really hoping they leave with warm hearts and acceptance of different faiths and religions and an idea that we can all live together in harmony the way it happened today and tonight and that w for the days coming forward that we'll try to be more accepting of other people and communities whenever we find them. I hope what they take away from tonight is that we have more in common than we have differences. However, our differences are not a liability. They're, it shows a beautiful diversity of our town, cultural, religious, ethnic, linguistic, um, all these diverse aspects of our town are part of what make us so beautiful and it's important to celebrate that and learn from each other and grow in our understanding of one another. Well tonight the principal reflection that was offered by one of the ministers in our group really talked about our need to go outside of our, our tents, go outside of our comfortability to really reach out to those people, uh, individuals who um, are, again are different than ourselves and in doing so to respect the um, uniqueness that they are, realizing that in turn we find our own lives being enriched because of the opportunity to meet people that are different than um, obviously uh, each, of, each of us um, might find ourselves to be and we become better persons by that. One key thing that was shared tonight was compassion. I think it's something that is key for all of us in pro uh, providing unity for our community. From the UCC, I'm Robert Paris for B News Weekly.